In this video, I want to take you through the whole process of creating the two classes that we normally use in object orientation. That means the object definition class as well as the application class. This program is about dogs, so you should create two classes, an object definition class and an application class. In the object definition class, you should create an object or blueprint for a type T dog and you're required to store these properties. The above mentioned properties must not be accessible from outside the dog class. Then, these are the behaviors or actions we want to be able to do with these properties. So, I want to be able to create a dog with some default values, and then you should be able to retrieve the values of these fields, because these fields are not retrievable on their own, because they are not accessible from outside the dog class. You must be able to change these fields. You must be able to print them out next to each other in columns. And finally, you must be able to create a dog with non-standard properties. Right, let's start. So the first program or class that we're going to spend time on will be the object definition class. So this is what Delphi looks like when it starts. This is an application that's already open at the default one. So I'm going to, I don't want that. I want to create an object definition class. So let's close all, don't save any changes, and say file new unit. Because a unit is what comprises the object definition class. So remember, object definition class, there's no way of running this program because it isn't a program as such. It's not executable. It's something that must be called by an application. In other words, it is also a form of library with a number of things in it that we can call from an application class. Let's go back to the question and the question says write a program about dogs you should create two classes and object definition. In the object definition class you should create an object blueprint for a type T dog. So that's where we are. So the first thing to do now is to save this class. I click on file save and choose the folder in which you want to store this and make sure the class name is dog underscore you because this is a pass file so that's the file name that I store this class as dog underscore you save and now under interface but before implementation I use type t dog so watch carefully the file name is dog underscore you the type is t dog t stands for type and this is equal to class no semicolon and then you'd always write private public end semicolon so under private I'm going to put all those fields that are not accessible from outside the class looking at the instructions I see that there should be four fields breed name height and sex and that these should be inaccessible from outside the class so breed name height and Six breed name height and sex. Sex is of course char. Height must be in centimeters, but you must just remember that. So let's make it an integer. Name is of course a string, and of course breed must be a string as well. So there we have created these four properties or fields, and because they are under the heading of private they are not accessible so this is an access modifier and it prevents breed name height and sex from being accessed or changed from outside the class now the behaviors or actions that we want to be able to do with the dog class are you must be able to create a dog with these standard properties so that's the constructor and we create our constructors under public because they must be accessible from outside the class the way we do that is to say constructor create semicolon Let's see what else needs to be created. We must be able to create a standard dog with these properties. So let's complete uh, this constructor. It's a default constructor because it will always give dogs, whatever dog you create, these values. So I have the name of the constructor under public and now I want to start creating the constructor itself or the tummy. So I press Control, Shift and C. I'm doing it to watch what happens so it immediately creates this empty constructor now we must put in the insides and the insides are merely to provide default values for the fields so breed must be mongrel 
and name must be equal to max that must be colon equals and height must be equal to whatever it said there 53 and then sex colon equals male so when I call this dog class and I run the constructor the default constructor there's only one this one at the moment then it will create a dog from this blueprint and the dog will have the breed of mongrel the name of max the height of 53 and it'll be a male dog let's go back to the question you must be able to retrieve the values of the four fields or properties now we know that these four fields and properties are not accessible outside the class so I must make an accessor method here under the public access modifier so that the method the accessor method will then make these fields one by one available outside the class so accessor methods in Delphi are functions so function get and we normally call them get methods function get breed and get breed must be of the type string so that's how we create a function the word function at the front the name of the function and then the data type of that function because a function will always return some sort of value function get breed and then we might as well do the other four as well, other three as well function get name colon and that's also a string and function get height which must be an integer and function get sex which will make character and now I'm once again going to press control shift C and it will create the empty methods for me you'll see I'm still in the same dog class and here are the empty methods so get breed must return the value of breed and we do that by always saying result colon equals something and what must get breed return it must of course return breed so breed the word result will return to the outside program the program that has used the get breed function the value assigned to result so you only assign a value to result once in a function and that is returned to the outside so the next one will be result colon equals height and the next one will be result colon equals name and the last one will be result colon equals six now why I'm doing this I realize that it is our tradition and therefore the convention that we always give our fields uh, start them off with the letter F so F breed F name F height F6 and then this my accessor methods should of course be changed similarly so that's F breed F height F name and F6 so I have now created the accessor methods if we look at the question it also says that I must be able to change the fields so that would be the mutator methods so those mutator methods will be procedures so I start with procedure set breed and that must have a bracket where the parameter the value that I want to change breed to comes through so let's call it br colon string and a procedure does not have a data type so that's all then procedure set name that will have n colon string and then procedure set height which will have an h colon integer and finally procedure set six which will have an s colon char I'm going to create the empty method handlers so control shift C and there they are so set breed will now be the place where I change the F breed field so F breed is now equal to BR that's all that's all the only thing I put into my set method so F height colon equals H and for the set dog name I say F name colon equals n and the last one f6 
colon equals s. So up to now we've created the default constructor, we've been able to retrieve the f uh, values of the four fields or properties and we must be able to change these fields or properties. So the last, well the second last one for the t-dog class is you must be able to print out the details of each dog next to each other separated by a tab. So that means I need a two-string method and it's a method so it's a procedure as a matter of fact it doesn't have to be a procedure let's make it a function. It's a function because it will send back to the main program a single line which will contain all the fields of this class. So function to string and it will be a string. Control shift C produces the empty one. So what must this string look like? I know that result must be equal to the breed if breed and that is a string so that's fine plus hash 9 because that is the tab character what are the other fields I've forgotten already name height and sex plus if name plus a hash character hash 9 plus int to string of if height plus hash 9 and then finally the sex or gender plus f6 great save everything so I've completed the second last one here and now the last one finally must be able to create a dog with non-standard properties so what they are saying to us is we should have another constructor but that is not a default constructor but a parameterized constructor so I'm going to have another constructor create and this one has parameters so it should have four parameters let's make it br and n and those are string parameters then height which is an integer and sex which is a character now you can see that I have two constructors one called create and the other one also called create but with some stuff behind it with some parameters so because I have two constructors with the same name I use the word overload behind each of them now press control shift C and it will create the parameterized constructor and now I must not assign the default values to the constructor but the parameters in other words the personalized ones so if breed colon equals br if name colon equals n if height colon equals h and if sex colon equals s by the way it reminds me that is probably wrong it needs an f in each case so I've done everything for the dog class let's go back and do the object definition class so the unit the separate unit that will contain all the whole blueprint for the dog class we've created and I'm saving it 